Doesn't want to rev. So the first step in finding this fault is um, taking off these covers here. Uh, I know it runs very rich uh, and uh, uh, we have, it is starting, so we probably have fuel and we will probably have a uh, spark and the timing, well, it could be faulty, but I'm not going to start with that because uh, all you actually need to have uh, to run a petrol engine is you need fuel and you need spark and you need compression and you need those in the right time so uh, say that you have a valve problem or a cam chain problem uh, you might have the timing wrong so you have all of these three but they have to be timed correctly in this case we have too much fuel and that could be uh, the choke is uh, faulty which means we actually have too little air or the air filter could be a problem uh, or maybe something else we'll see but first of all i'm gonna take this uh, cover off uh, this air filter is um not looking very good this engine has a real simple starting system there's no choke or anything like that uh, this is actually wide open throttle when you start it it should be uh, working against this spring so if this spring is harder or if you tension it like here it will run at a higher rpm uh, now it's fully open and now it's fully closed and to start it in a cold you use the primer and just push here and you'll get some extra fuel inside of it and i'm actually going to try and run it without this air filter because this filter is um it's really bad Let's see what happens then This is the fault. I'm gonna wash it off and uh, buy a new air filter and uh, a new spark plug. This is all rusty. And uh, hopefully I have a, a good running um, lawnmower. Ah, it's so much mosquitoes here. <laughs> The first one to suggest that the air filter was faulty was a guy named Mike and he's got a YouTube channel called the Mike's World so I suggest you check it out. Uh, eternal glory to him and uh, also good job all the others that suggested the air filter because uh, he was first but not alone. I'm going to remove this uh because it was really uh, uh I, I don't think anyone has cleaned this before and there's probably a lot of grass and stuff in there so oh it wasn't that bad I hit these warnings with uh, with the pressure washer, so they're gone now. So I'm gonna put a sign there that says, uh, "This machine has no brain. Use your own."
whenever you're doing something with a machine maybe i mean this i was cleaning this so i would get water in here or in here uh, make sure all the the threads are clean um like use compressed air to, to blow them out because if you if you thread a bolt down here you might actually crack uh this uh metal here because it'll be like uh you know you're you're you cannot compress the water that's in there and uh, it's the same thing if, if you're like changing a head gasket on a car you might have a coolant going down into one of the head gasket bolts or these uh, i mean the big bolts and then you'll ruin it so make sure everything is clean and uh, that there's no water and or oil in there had a an air filter for this machine it's it is for honda but it seems to fit i'm just gonna make sure this uh, gasket here is in the right position yeah i think that would be good i'm gonna run this a bit and then <coughs> I will um, change the oil and I'll have to order that spark plug too. Removing the fuel tank and that uh, cover was uh, kind of straightforward. The only thing a bit difficult or strange that there is like a washer or a, a piece of plastic here. So you have to line them up and put it all in here. But otherwise it was really straightforward. You can actually get the oil out if you remove this uh, screw here, but I don't have this, uh, it's like a four way uh, special tool. I think it's like three of an eighth or something like that. So I'm just gonna lean it over. It works too. Uh, it, it was kind of low on oil, but I didn't, I don't want to add oil just to <laughs> change it. So I'm gonna try and get, I'm gonna try get most of it out. This uh, plastic thingy here and here is actually what's supposed to be making this smoother a super recycler because the grass is supposed to be hitting here and then you know going like this and then hitting the knife again and cutting it up in really small pieces and uh, we'll, we'll see if it works really soon oh kind of mess in there huh Couple of brips of torque probably will work. Just like when it came out of the ground. Nice.
I'll, I'll run it a bit and see. The old oil will probably make it clear what level is in there. I think it turned out real nice there's be some kind of a guide sticker there on those uh, wheels but uh, they were mostly gone so I removed them with the high pressure washer <coughs> but uh, maybe I'll fix that because you have here like these marks now and now it's on F do you see that yeah I think so it says F down here oh, come on there we go and uh, I mean that's the highest length so there was this guide I'll see I'll find a picture of it and you're supposed to remove this cover somehow I don't know what do you use something <laughs> yeah and um, and then you stick it down in the grass and measure the height and depending on if it's lush or sparse growth uh, you're supposed to set this on a optimal height, but I think uh, I think I can manage without that. Mm, I'm gonna try it out now. Uh, it's really high the grass here. The lawnmower guy has been on vacation, I think. Uh, so first, I'm gonna use the bagger in the sides here because uh, I don't want that much grass on the on the pa patio. But. Um, so we'll try that out first. Yeah, it's kind of full. Yeah. 
I'm gonna run it without this just as a rear eject cutter because it's so high now. I'll be doing some cutting now and uh, later I'll do a comparison video uh, between this and uh, some other movers about the dischar discharging and the bagging stuff like that but uh, I'm actually running out of space on the iPhone to film this so thank you very much for watching and uh, bye